Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'll be making these night surcoats. Enjoy. Keep in mind that these are just six foot pieces of fabric that I cut a little bit and altered. So there's a hole in the head and it looks like a surcoat. The Polish one is the same thing. I just cut two different pieces of fabric of different colors and spliced them together with duct tape and hot glue. Okay, so the first way to make this is using a two yard piece of fabric, of course. I'm gonna take out the red one here. You're gonna wanna unravel it. And since you don't need to use the whole thing because it's pretty wide, it's folded in half and it's about six feet long. So right now I have it three feet wide because I folded it in half. And we're going to cut this right down the middle and then we'll have enough fabric for about two surcoats if you want. That right there, where these seams kind of intersect, will be where the head is gonna be. And then, just for tutorial sake, it's about 28 inches wide. And then the whole thing is about six feet long. The only difference between my Austrian surcoat and this Polish one I'm making is um, this one didn't require any splicing of fabric. I just painted on the black squares. So here's a tip to hide the jagged edges. I grab the cut end that I cut with the scissors on both pieces of fabric. I'm folding them outward and I'm going to glue them at those pre-made seam lines. And then this little fin of fabric, when it, once it's glued together, will be on the inside. So as you can see, the wet hot glue marks um, I did it in like small increments. So if you do it all at once, it'll just be a little bit harder. And that's just so I can keep it lined up. And then I'm gonna fill in all the spots that don't have glue and then it will all be sealed together. We'll put some duct tape just to seal it one last time. And then we'll cut a hole for the head. All right, the glue job is complete. And this is the little tail of extra fabric I was talking about. And you're usually left with this on pretty much all fabric that you sew or you know, glue together like I did. So in order to keep this from separating, we're gonna put some duct tape on it. So now we're gonna fold this over. Okay, so now that that's folded in half. It really does look like the Polish flag. I'm gonna use my Austrian surcoat as a template here. Lay this on top. And then I'm going to cut this neck shape out for the head. Also, I know it's a little bit wider than my Austrian shirt coat, but that doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna throw away the excess because that is obsolete. And there you go, you have a Polish surcoat. That will look nicely around a Polish knight. The second one I'm gonna do, because I don't have any blue fabric like I just used, I'm going to use this completely blank t-shirt I got from Michael's Arts and Crafts. And I'm just going to cut off the sleeves and then cut a seam line straight down the side. So I cut off both sleeves and I also cut it down the side on each side here. And you basically have a slightly smaller surcoat, but it will do the job. Now we're gonna add those three golden details. I forget what they're called, but I'm gonna use some gold fabric for them specifically. And then this one will pretty much be complete as well. So this is my first attempt and it came out better than expected. I did that by getting a small piece of fabric and then folding that over. And then I sketched out this design and then when you cut that out and then unfold it, you'll get this whole shape. And it turns out that these are called fleur de lis. Now I'm going to just glue these on the fabric in this kind of pattern. Perfect. So here's the Polish knight. You will see him in a future skit, but this is how the surcoat looks. It uh, makes these knights easier to identify what country they're from. And I also think it covers up the armor pieces and gaps if you uh, just want to cosplay a knight. 
So there you go. That's how you make night surcoats. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.